Okay, week four, I believe. Yep, week four. Okay, well, I had to actually wash the outside this week, and I got like, they had an annual inspection, I guess, and um, I ended up having to do quite a bit of this during the week uh, in the morning. So now this is all clean. Um, and I also got another truckload full of stuff. Tuesday is when they actually uh, have a dumpster, so hopefully I can take this off to the dumpster for free. If not, I guess I'll be going to the dump. So I got a truckload and I probably got I got a dishwasher there and I got more stuff over there. So I take all the weeds out. That was another one. So all the weeds are out now. Uh, and I had weeds on the on the side I had to do. So uh, I was doing some yard work in the mornings and the evenings. Um, it didn't help that I was working late at night and also the store is sort of clean. It was pretty bad uh, shape. And uh, so as we walk in the house, you can see that I've got it painted. So let me turn off this fan so I can not pull out. So um, you can see that I didn't get over here. I wanted to, but I just, I, I need, I need to get, I need to actually um, do some more mudding. So I've got all the mudding done here. You can kind of tell uh, where the mud was with those lines. I think that'll go away once I put the real paint on. Um, those are just where the, the paint sucks it up a little bit more than the regular wallpaper. I may have to put two coats on, but I think that'll kind of go away. I, I'm not terribly concerned right now about that. I got the header in there. Uh, some of the things I had to work with was just, um, I, I couldn't do the mud during the week because I was working so late and um, I just couldn't get it done. So yesterday I was mudding and sanding. And then I kind of switched a little bit. I thought I was going to get this all done this week, but I didn't. Um, so it just worked out in the way a little bit. But you know, that's, I moved the, the vinyl back here. I did get um, I did get going on the shower, believe it or not. So I've got the Dura Rock in. Um, I don't know how to redo this. I, this just that stuff bugs me. I'm, I'm not going to use PVC on the CPVC, so um, I, it was my mistake. I just need to correct that mistake. So I got some new stuff, and I'll go ahead and do that. So this is all in, um, and I've already got this one cut. I just need to take this all apart and put some new stuff in. I, that's not that big of a deal. I did get white in as well. That was pretty simple. So I just left the plastic on it. I did get the ceiling all painted. So it's all painted in here, uh, ceiling wise. So I'm going to, once I get done with all the kilts, I'm getting moving on the painting side. I'm, I decided I'm gonna roll this. Um, I think it's just a little bit easier. And um, I, I just think it looks a little bit better. Because uh, I, I did spray the kilts on this and uh, I kept on streaking and some other stuff. And I was like, you know, so I ended up rolling it. And I got a texture out of it, which is kind of nice. It's not so flat. So by rolling this um, with a little slight uh, dryness, I got a texture, which is kind of, I kind of like it. Um, I, didn't, I didn't like the flat, flat stuff. This has got a little bit of a texture to it. So you can see. There's some texture to it, not much, but just enough, I think, to kind of break it up, kind of also um, kind of make it a little, a little bit better, not like wallpapered uh, paint. So I did get the, did get that in there, you know, I got that kind of painted. I got the, this set a little bit better, so I got, obviously I paint it, but I got, I got the caulking in it so you can go around and see this. So it's no gaps there, which is really, it really was kind of a bear. Uh, I, I see what Randy was talking about. Um, the one in the closet, I think is gonna have a gap. I'm not, I'm not gonna be too worried about that one, but I think from this one, this view, um, I think it looks a, a heck of a lot better than having a gap in it. And I think as soon as I paint it, that uh, coffee should be fine. The one thing I am going to decide, decide to do, I'm gonna put the bean back in the center here. I'm just a little bit concerned that this is called actually a marriage uh, wall, a marriage uh, beam. Um, you can kind of see where um, it was butted, is seamed together. So I, I, I don't know, I've decided I'm gonna just fix this and 
and do this. I mean, it wasn't done right, but that doesn't mean I need to repeat it. And aesthetically, uh, it's going to kind of put a beam in the center, but oh well, that's just life. I don't want to spend a lot of time re-engineering a beam here. So the, the quick dirty thing is to go ahead and just put a beam in the center, center point from there to there. I'll make the same size over there as over there and then put a center beam in here. I think it'll be a lot better. I think I'll do a little bit of work in there, but not much. And it'll be far better than what it was because it didn't really have any, only support was right about um, right there. You can see a little notch right there. The, the one thing that they, they did on this was they, they only put support on one side of this and I'm not sure why, but um, I'm not gonna redo everything. That, that's what they had. That's what they're gonna, what I'm going back with. Um, to see. Yeah, I mean, this is a week's worth of work. I mean, it took me three days to do the outside, uh, get it clean. Um, I had to put back the awning. I had to do some other stuff. I had to get the weeds out, so that, that did take some time. I got a quote like $300 to power wash this thing. I was like, no, I'm just gonna get some bleach. And I spent probably about 70 bucks on that stuff, but you know, big deal. I did find out that the washer in the, wa the valve is bad. So no wonder there's not a washer and dryer in there. It was leaking. So it was, as opposed to fix the damn thing, um, I guess they just took the washer and dryer because it was leaking like a sieve, so I, I've got a, I got new valves for it. I just need to replace them. So when I cut off the valves to do the the um, master bath, I get redo that. Uh, I'll go ahead and replace the valves at that point. So that's about it, guys. Um, Miss Randy, Miss Heaven, second hand, and just joke, you know, cracking jokes, stupid old man jokes. But nevertheless, nevertheless, um, it is kind of lonely, kind of quiet. The kitchen's sort of clean, not not great, but it's not bad uh, considering what it looked like beginning this week. Uh, so that's about it. You guys have a great week. Uh, hopefully everybody's having a great time. Bye.